So it was just confirmed by another game benchmark that Rivetuner Statistic Service Frame Limiter is more efficient than in-game limiting. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunts Frame Limiter, for example, has a setting for unlimited, 30, and 60, but according to this source, frame limiting using RTSS is more efficient. This is quite surprising for most because you'd expect the GPU to just figure this out when you have vSync on. But the fact is, after multiple tests, RTSS's frame limiter is one of the best performance optimizations I've ever seen. It not only makes frames stable and butter smooth, it prevents excess frame rendering, which causes the GPU to overdrive and run hotter than necessary. And as you may know, the hotter the GPU is, the more likely it is to throttle and therefore decrease performance overall. I can honestly say this really works. And for games that don't implement their own limit, this has a dramatic effect. I've seen games on my AMD Crossfire rig hit some insane 400 frames per second when it can only display 60, so that means 340 frames are just wasted heat. How can I utilize this, you might say? Well, most of us are using RTSS or have access to it. You can download RTSS directly or it comes bundled with a variant of MSI Afterburner. I suggest checking with your card manufacturer to see if you're using or have access to an MSI Afterburner variant. For example, EVGAs and video cards have a program called Position X, which is just a rescan of MSI Afterburner and RTSS comes with it. Once you have RTSS running, test it by setting the frame rate limit to something crazy like really low, like 10, and then try your game to verify it works. Once you've verified it working, then set it to your monitor or TV's refresh rate. For most, that number will be 60. How will you know this is helping? Well, for some computers and games, it may be very difficult to see the benefit. My suggestion is to monitor your temperatures and FPS before you set the limit and then compare the two. It's also a good idea to really pay attention to how the game feels before and after. The most dramatic difference I've seen is that my card fans went quiet after setting the limiter because it simply wasn't producing as much heat, but the performance was better or equal. Better, you say? Yes, better. Not because there are more frames, but because the frame rate is more stable. I hope that helps. Um, you know, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you disliked it. Um, you know, I really wanted to share this with the world because it seems like the one thing that people don't talk about is using frame limiters. Uh, which seems silly because people want to know how performant their card is and they want to have 2 billion frames per second. But the reality of it is that that's not uh, true performance. The true performance is how the game runs and how the game feels. So enjoy.